Welcome back to Peach Pills by Lee. Before I begin today's story, let me take you back in time over a hundred years ago. Yes, we are talking about the early 1900s, an era when India was still under British control. And in the heart of Karnataka, the regions of Mysore and Mandya faced a terrible problem. A problem so big that it forced thousands of people to leave their homes in search of a better life. Summers were cruel. There was no water, no crops and no hope. The land was dry and every year, the people of Mandya had to pack their belongings and move to other places just to survive. But the worst was yet to come. The year 1875-76 to brought a drought like no other. It wasn't just the weather. Many believed that the British government's policies had worsened the situation. Crops failed, water sources dried up and the kingdom of Mysore lost one-fifth of its people. Imagine that! One out of every five people gone. Just because there wasn't enough water. But even in the darkest times, there's always someone who rises with a solution. And in this story, that hero was a man named Sir M. Vishweshwaraya. Vishweshwaraya was not just an engineer. He was a dreamer, a visionary. He looked at the mighty Kaveri River and saw something others couldn't. A lifeline for the people of Mysore. He wanted to build something incredible. A dam that would store water, bring life back to the farmlands and even generate electricity. Yes, electricity. Something that was completely new at that time. But not everyone was ready to believe in his dream. When Vishweshwaraya presented his plan, the finance ministers of Mysore refused to support it. What's the use of such a dam? They asked. Electricity is pointless. There is no demand for it. But Vishweshwaraya was not someone who gave up. He believed in his idea and knew exactly where to go next. T. Anand Rao, the Divan of Mysore and the great king himself, Maharaja Krishna Raja Odeyar IV. He explained how the dam could change the future of the kingdom, how it could stop the suffering of the farmers and how it could make Mysore a powerful and self-sufficient state. The Maharaja listened carefully and after much thought, he made a decision that would change history. Finally, on October 11, 1911, the Maharaja gave his approval and the dream of building the dam became a reality. He set aside Rs 81 lakh, a huge amount at that time, to start the construction of what would later become one of India's greatest engineering wonders. The Krishna Raja Sagar Dam. Just when everything seemed perfect, a new problem arose. The Madras Presidency, which controlled parts of South India under British rule, strongly opposed the project. They argued that the dam would block their share of Kaveri's water and urged the British government to stop the construction. After a lot of challenges, the problem with the Madras Presidency was finally solved and the construction of the Kyaris Dam began in the November 1911. Can you imagine? More than 10,000 workers were involved in building this massive project. But here's something unique about the Kyaris Dam. It wasn't built using regular cement like most dams. Instead, Engineers used a special mixture of limestone and surki, a kind of burnt brick powder. This made the dam not only super strong, but also long-lasting. That's why, even after more than a century, the KRS dam does not have the usual cracks and leaks that we see in many old dams. But wait, 
There's a twist in this story. When the construction started, there was one huge problem. The state treasury did not have enough money to complete the project. Can you imagine starting something this big and running out of funds? Sounds scary, right? But here's where the Maharaja did something truly incredible. He was so determined to build the dam that he made a shocking decision. He sold his own royal jewelry to raise money. And guess what happened next? The people of Mysore were so touched by his sacrifice that many came forward to donate money too. It was no longer just a construction project. It had become a mission to secure Karnataka's future. And today, thanks to that decision, millions of people depend on the Kaveri River for water. After years of hard work and dedication, the KRS Dam was finally completed in 1931. At that time, it was the largest reservoir in India. And to honour the visionary king who made it possible, the dam was named after him, Krishna Raja Sagara or simply KRS Dam. Now, here's another little known fact. The KRS Dam was the first in Asia to have automated crest gates. These special gates automatically control water levels, releasing excess water when needed. This was a futuristic technology at that time and is still admired by engineers today. And do you know who designed these revolutionary system? Sir M. Vishweshwaraya. He came up with a brilliant idea called automatic sluice gates. Something no one had ever heard of back then. The British doubted that this design would work. But guess what? Even after 100 years, these gates are still functioning perfectly, proving the genius of our Indian engineers. My dear friends, as I was learning about the amazing engineering wonders of our country, I came across a story that gave me goosebumps. Just when I thought I knew everything about the hard work and smart ideas of our great leaders, I found another exciting secret hidden beneath the KRS Dam. Did you know there's a tunnel associated with the KRS Dam? It's called the Hulikere Tunnel. And while it's not directly beneath the dam, it's intricately linked to its irrigation system. Designed by the legendary Sir M. Vishweshwaraya, this tunnel was constructed to channel the backwaters of the KRS Dam to the village of Hulikere, spanning about 2.8 kilometers. It stands as one of the first underground irrigation tunnels in Central Asia. The Hulikere Tunnel is a testament to the innovative spirit of its time. Built nearly a century ago, it continues to serve as a vital source of irrigation for farmers in the region. The tunnel's design is remarkable, featuring a width of 15 feet and an arched ceiling reaching 20 feet in height. Considering the limit surveying equipment available back then, it's astounding that engineers from both ends met perfectly during its construction. While access to this historical tunnel is restricted today, just knowing about its existence and purpose adds a layer of mystery and pride to the legacy of the KRS Dam. It's incredible to think about the foresight and dedication of our engineers and leaders who envisioned such projects to secure water resources for future generations. Isn't it amazing that the KRS Dam and the Hulikere Tunnel are not just great engineering works, but also stories of vision, hard work and lasting impact. Have you ever seen or heard of Vrindavan Gardens? Yes, this beautiful garden is right next to the KRS Dam in Mysuru. 
most people visited for its stunning musical fountains and colorful lights. And did you know? There's an interesting reason behind its creation. Brindavan Gardens was designed by the German horticulturist and inspired by the famous Shalimar Gardens of Kashmir. The idea was to create a paradise-like retreat, a space where people could relax and enjoy nature after the grand success of the KRS Dam. What makes this garden even more special is its hidden underground water pipeline system. The smart irrigation method keeps the garden lush and green all around the year, even during the hottest summers. And here's something mysterious. If you ever visit Brindavan Gardens at night, you might notice a faint glow on the surface of the dam's water. Some say it's due to biohumescent algae, while others believe it's just the reflection of the lights. What do you think? Did you know that the KRS Dam also contributed to the early electrification of Karnataka? The hydroelectric power station built at the dam provided a reliable source of electricity to the region, supporting the development of nearby areas and contributing to the early stages of electrification in the state. Keras Dam has served us for over a century, providing not only water for irrigation and drinking, but also playing a key role in the early electrification of Karnataka. However, did you know that its water levels are dropping every year? With growing demands for drinking water, irrigation and power generation, managing KRS Dam's resources has become a major challenge. Experts suggest that modern rainwater harvesting and water conservation techniques can help keep KRS sustainable for the future. The government is also working on projects to strengthen the dam, ensuring that it continues to support millions of people. As individuals, we can contribute by being mindful of our water usage, supporting local conservation efforts and advocating for sustainable practices. Small actions like conserving water in our daily lives can go a long way in preserving this precious resource for generations to come. So, that was all about the hidden secrets of KRS Dam. It's more than just a water reservoir. It's a symbol of Karnataka's rich history, brilliant engineering and royal legacy. Which fact surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon so you never miss any new updates. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Signing off, Page Pills Bailey. See you next time.